Hi, third grade friends. Welcome. My name is Mrs. Z and I'm excited to be with you for writing today. As we are in our poetry unit, I want to teach you today that writers use imagery to help their reader better understand their poetry. So what is imagery and how can we use it? Imagery is words that describe and paint a picture for your reader. So instead of saying the word smell, we can use a descriptive word in place of it, such as sweet, stinky, clean, fragrant, pungent. So one example is, my dog smells. Maybe he smells good, maybe he smells bad, we don't know. But if I use a more descriptive word like pungent and say, my dog, is pungent, then we know that the dog needs a bath. He smells really bad. Or even saying, my dog smells pungent, then that gives an added description to really give your reader a clear picture in their mind that your dog does not smell good. We can go on to using our five senses through sound, such as booming, sizzling, rumbling, clinking, Touch, rough, soft, sticky, slimy, smooth. For taste, we could describe it as spicy, salty, sweet, zesty, sour. And for sight, we could say shiny or dull, colorful. There's so many great words for imagery that we can use that really give our readers a clear picture of what we're trying to tell them. I want to take it a step further and look at similes and metaphors. And this is something that you'll see quite a bit in poetry. So a simile is comparing two things using the words like or as. Like two peas in a pod, comparing the two Ps with the word like. This is often used to describe best friends, such as Janeth and Muhil are like two Ps in a pod. They're super close. You can never separate them. They're always together. You might also hear busy as a bee. That's two things, busy and bee with the word as, as the comparison. This would describe someone being really busy. Right now, your parents may be busy as bees, trying to work from home and homeschool you. All right, if we look at metaphors, this is where two things are compared using is, was, are, were. You are a nut, comparing you to a nut with the word are. That's going to describe someone as silly or goofy. That is a piece of cake, meaning that and piece of cake being compared with the word is. This is oftentimes used to describe something being easy. So as you're writing your poetry today, I want you to try to revise and add using similes and metaphors and your imagery words. I want to leave you with one example that we can do together today before you go off on your own. So this is what I wrote today about my dog. I found him on the street. He was dirty. I gave him a bath and a name. I would like to revise this and add some imagery, maybe even a simile or a metaphor to really paint a better picture for my readers. So let's talk about, hmm, on the street. Could I describe the street? I'm gonna say the dim street. It was a dark street. So I'm gonna rewrite. I 
found him on the dim street. He was dirty. Can I do anything with that to spice it up? I'm gonna say, instead of dirty, I'm, to, I'm going to put the word pungent there to let you know that not only was he dirty, but he was awfully smelly. He was pungent. I gave him a bath. Hmm. I could say warm bath, a bubble bath. Sudsy. I'm going to say Sudsy bath. I gave him a pardon my writing hmm, in a name. I don't know. I'm not feeling that part. And it's my writing, so I'm just gonna take it out. But now that I know about similes and metaphors, I do want to keep going with how clean he was. So I'm gonna say, clean as a whistle. That's going to describe that he was super clean. I got him very, very clean. And I used the word as. So here I used a simile. So I'm gonna reread you the poem and I want you to see if it paints a better picture than the first time. I found him on the dim street. He was pungent. I gave him a sudsy bath clean as a whistle. I think I did a better job in adding imagery to my writing and I'm pretty proud of it. Now I want you to go off and try the same thing too today. Good luck, find a comfortable spot and if it's great weather outside, enjoy the outdoors. It's so much fun riding outside. Thanks for being with me today. I hope you had a great time. Bye.